Hi, I'm Paula. Thank you for stopping at my channel. Today, I'm going to try this really exciting TikTok trend. I'm really, really happy about trying it, although it's an old, old TikTok trend, like ancient for TikTok because it, it happened about five or six months ago. I still want to do it. Basically, what you do is you take your picture with the AI filter from TikTok and it transforms you into a painting. And what happened with the artist community in TikTok was they took this picture and they made an actual painting from it. So it's really fun and I can't wait to do it. Um, I don't expect it to look very much like me, but let's see. So here's the canvas I'm gonna use. It's about, um, I think it was 10 by 14 inches because I wanted it to be big enough that I could display this thing, but not huge so it would fit my recording area. And I've also put out my brushes, my golden paints. I'm using my good acrylics for this and an extra new brush. But before that, let me show you what I did on TikTok to get my reference picture. As you can see, I just went on the app and used their AI filter, took a picture, and here it is. So now that I have my reference, I wanted to start painting. Now, after seeing a lot of these videos on TikTok, I think my approach was a little bit different just because I really wanted to paint it, like actually paint it. So instead of precisely drawing the face in each colored area like an item, like a coloring page, I wanted to paint it, so I started sketching and trying to get the proportions right and you know just trying to do it all with my brush like I would do my own painting <laughs> if that makes sense so I sketched everything in with my paints gray paint which is what I do in my normal practice and I saw my proportions were off so I decided to just turn around the canvas and see if that way I could get it to be a little bit more accurate now I'm going in with dark brown and after playing with that for a bit I was happy enough to start painting and the first thing I did was give it a couple of colors for another layer just to saturate the canvas so I wouldn't have white spots and then start with the skin tones I filled up the face and everything as much as I could and then moved on to doing a little bit of details and of course I worked in the hair started adding the purples and the blues that the ai chose for this painting <laughs> it's funny to say and then just work the details at this point i'm working with this little tiny flat brush that i actually love and i just kept going at it kept adding light and trying to get as close to the reference and the picture i used for this painting you can see i had it in the background uh, on my iPad. After that, I moved to the floral part, which I really, really liked. And I noticed that I had splash some paint in the background, so I went ahead and just fixed that. And with that, I should have have been done. But was I? Okay, so next day, and I just saw my painting here in the studio, and I like the painting. I just don't think it looks like the reference or like me, and I see a lot of mistakes today because I just powered through yesterday. I don't, mm, I like it, but I don't know. So I'm gonna work on it a little bit more today. Just give it some finishing touches, try to correct it and we'll see. Um, I hope you can hear this. Can you hear the construction next door? It's like pretty, it's pretty loud and the lighting is horrible, but I really, really, really wanna finish the painting. I'm excited about it now. Let's do it. Oh yes, that lighting and audio is horrible, I apologize. So I took my painting and just went at it with a Posca pen and just tried to correct everything I did wrong. I don't know, with fresh eyes the next day, I just saw everything again and I found all of the mistakes that I've made and I tried to fix those. I also marked the areas of color closer to the AI suggestion, let's call it, and added the red and the purple that the filter had because I really, really liked it. And then I went to work at it for, I don't even know how many hours this took guys, but I worked on it a lot. I worked a lot in it. I brightened the whole painting up. I thought it was too dark and I was really trying to work in the same colors as the AI suggested because I want to learn how to paint in different ways. I'm a self-taught artist. I do have a lot of years of experience, but I'm still always learning. 
so and i really like the reference i really like what the ai came up with They're, I don't think it really looked like me, but I thought it was really, really nice. So I tried and tried to make it as close as possible. And finally, when I was happy about it, I signed my piece and that's it. Okay, so I'm done and big review. Here's the finished piece. Do I like it? I do, I think it's pretty nice. I learned something new. Will I display this? Yes, I will. Does it look like me? <laughs> I don't think so, but I still love it. Let me know if you like this video and I'll see you again next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye.